This video is brought to you by JD's Regents Preparation. This is problem number 37 from the August 2016 Algebra 1 Common Core Regents exam. In this system of equations, we'll be purchasing 18 juice boxes and we'll let J represent the cost of a juice box. We'll also be purchasing 32 water bottles letting W represent the cost of a water bottle. In total, we'll spend $19.92. Similarly, another teacher will purchase 14 juice boxes and 26 bottles of water, and she will spend $15.76. Now that we have our system of equations, let's solve it to show that Kara's prices are not possible. We will use the elimination method to solve this system. So let's decide to eliminate the J variable. To do that, we'll multiply our equations by each other, meaning we'll multiply the 18 by 14 and the 14 by a negative 18 so that we can get the J variable to eliminate. Using our calculator, let's see what our new equation will be when we multiply every term by 14. Similarly, let's multiply our second equation by a negative 18. And using our calculator, let's see what we end up with. Now we get to see the elimination method in action. When we combine like terms, we see that our J terms will cancel or be eliminated. Let's combine our W terms. And now let's combine our constants. To finish the problem, we want to divide by a negative 20. And we will see that the price of a water bottle will be 24 cents, not 33 cents as Kara had suggested. Now that we found the price of a water bottle, we also need to find the price of a juice box. To do that, we will pick one of our original equations. I think I will choose this one. And now that I know the value of W, I will use the substitution method to determine J. So we have 14J plus 26w, but at this point I will not write w, I will write 0.24. And now using my calculus,